Greetings, YouTube. Happy Friday. I love being wrong. I know that that might surprise some people, but I think being wrong keeps you humble and it also keeps your ego in check. And I think uh, more than anything, normally when I'm wrong, it's because something turns out to be better than on paper I had predicted. And I got to tell you, when I saw that these new Supreme Solo Crystals were going to be five times the price of the past highest tier, I immediately thought about my complaint of arena crystals compared to uncollected arena crystals, which are five times the price and usually a far worse value for units, a bigger RNG gamble than, um, than the basic ones. So, and so I tell people, unless you've got 5 million battle chips plus to even out that five times RNG of what it would be for 1 million battle chips for uh, 2K uh, arena crystals, always go with the 2K ones. Forget Punisher, he's a trophy champ. So what if you don't get a 5-star Punisher, instead you get a 4-star Punisher or a 3-star Punisher? That doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is those are gold and units. Even energy refills don't have the same value as they once did, thankfully, because of peak milestones. But in one week, just one freaking week, and I do this now every week, I got 75 Supreme Solo Crystals. On paper, I thought, well, they're putting them at 10K because they don't want you to just be able to collect these things like uh, like they're nothing. Well, actually, they do. Just from 7-hour and 22-hour milestones, I got 75 in a week. That's 750,000 solo crystal shards worth of the Supreme Solo Crystals. That's incredible. Now, most of the time, you get boosts, and what, end up, what, what ends up happening when you open 75 at once is that you get like 30 boosts in your overflow that you've just got to start using in rapid succession. But that's awesome because I use them for my uh, arena grinds and just I'll, I'll put in like a 15% attack and a 15% uh, health and a 10% greater champion all at once. And so I'll do like 20 minutes straight of grinding where I'll grind all my 565 five stars, for example, and then that'll help. And then I'll go back and I'll do that for even the four-star basic arena or the four-star featured, of course. Uh, and so, oh, I love that start. Love that start. And the other consequence of these is that I'm ranking up my four-stars and even my three-stars because of the milestones faster than I ever have. It's unbelievably exciting for me to be able to just take those champs and rank them up. And you saw already that we got a four-star plus five Citrus Stone Crystal and a four-star generic. So once you do that, once you get your four stars to max rank, you're going to get a lot more five-star shards because of the max sig ability crystals. Th these are starting off super hot. I don't know if I've ever gotten a four-star Awakening Gym Crystal. What are the drop rates on that thing? That's uh, 3%. Yeah, that's uh, that's not good, generally speaking. That's not, that's not a good drop rate, and yet... Uh, I just landed it. I haven't gotten a boost yet. Those have to be coming, right? Right here? Boost? Where's the boost? Uh, well, that's a six-star arena boost. That's good. We're going to pop the last 70, by the way. I just want to see what I can get fast tap in a few of these. And uh, I have not been disappointed at all. Happy Friday, those. Yeah, it's not going to happen again. And back-to-back uh, -back six-star boosts. Love it. Okay, so... I love these because of the rare 1% drop rate, but still it has happened quite a few times to me, thankfully, of the Tier 2 Alpha and the Tier 5 Basic. Nothing is better, though, than the game-changing crystal of the Thronebreaker Dailies. Those things are like liquid gold. Oh, what's up, 7200 Tier 2 Alpha Catalyst Fragments in the first batch of 10 I popped? I'll take that. Probably won't get any more, but, uh, yep, nope, still not, but we'll take them. That's uh that's big. Oh, look at those greater champion. I guess I should just say champion, not greater champion. Twenty more. We will see if we got the tier two alpha and uh, the tier five basic. Okay, so we ended up getting, as usual, bunch of boosts, ten percenters, fifteen percenters, um, less boosts than I had anticipated getting though. That's good. Okay, there's the visual glitch that's caught up. Okay, so it still was 7,200. So we got that first batch of 10, and then that's it. Let's see about the Tier 5 basic, huh? Maybe? Bunch of arena boosts. Love that. Love, love, love that. But let's scroll all the way to the end. 
We got four of the five star six stones. Two, turns out two four star awakening gems. Wow. Four of the plus fives. So no tier five basic this time. I don't know if you saw the first time I ever opened these. It was only like a batch of 10, which now compared to today is just minuscule. But uh, I got like 15,000 tier five basic callus fragments from a batch of 10. It was on paper the luckiest. And here's three four star awakening gem crystals. Let's just pop them. Wow. That's just, I mean, think about that. That's amazing. I know four stars are not nearly as relevant as they used to be, but I'll still take four star awakening gyms for free any day. Are you kidding me? And then we're always rooting for the, uh, the mutant class in these five star six stones to pump more sigs into sunspot, who is my newest rank five. And we got some random ones, three skill and tech. Show us that five star. There we go. Get out of here. Visual glitch. Well, Hey, 750,000 solo crystal shards in less than seven minutes. That's, that's a pretty good value for a crystal opening. Uh, thanks for watching this, YouTube. Thanks, as always, for your support. I was so wrong about how fast you could collect these things, and I couldn't be happier to say I'm wrong because that means the community benefits greatly by getting to open these things fast. The only downside, if there is one, is just that with those increase in arena boosts, particularly five and six stars, the, the first real five-star arena data collected was yesterday and if that is any future indication of arena scores everything has skyrocketed the top 10 percent the top five percent and the five star featured even what we thought would be maybe the top 300 now that'll change for somebody like red hulk this weekend versus uh, red goblin but still that's the only complaint with these things is that with making five star and six star arena boosts so common and so easily accessible you're just driving the scores that you have to get in that five-star featured arena, which of course benefits the people with large six-star rosters, but a lot of people don't have them, and so they feel like they're kind of left in the dust. It is what it is, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.